Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you how I play something as recorded by the Beatles. Now this is a beautiful song, so let's get straight into it here. It kicks off with actually the drums playing a little fill. They play six beats. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we come in with this progression. And on top of that, we have this little lick. And so what's going on here is we're starting on the downbeat with an F chord. And I play this just at the first fret here, one, three, three, two, one, one. But you could play whatever F is comfortable for you. You could just play this small F here from the fourth string down or go for the full bar. What I was doing is that bar chord with my thumb there. That's how I play that F chord. And then I go to an E flat, which is from five down. This is six, five, three, four, three, okay? Now you could play it like this as well, that's an E flat bar chord, or this is a nice one. It looks like a C chord here, just moved up. And then I go to a G with a D in the bass, and that's also five strings down, five, five, four, three, three, okay? So this is gonna go two beats on the F, then one beat on E flat, then one beat on G over D, and then we'll start the verse on the C chord, which is just from the fifth string down, three, two, open, one, open. So all together, that intro is gonna go after that drum fill, you'll hear one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, verse. So that's the first part for the intro, and I'm gonna break this entire song down for you step by step. But before we go through the rest of it, if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that shows you basically a framework for how I look at the neck. And if you wanna be able to play along to your favorite recordings or learn songs faster or improvise on the guitar, this is gonna be one of the most useful PDFs you can grab and you can get it completely for free. All you gotta do is go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or you can click the first link down below and grab that as my gift to you. So after this intro, we go one and two and three and four, then we start the verse. Something in the way. The vocals come in. All right, so I started out there on the C, and what George does is he plays this really cool progression where he keeps that C there, but he just progressively changes the chord. So it starts on C for a bar, and then he takes off the index finger there, and that becomes a major seven chord. So that's C major seven. Then that index finger goes back on, and you add your pinky, to the third fret of the third string. And that gives you a C7 chord. Then from there, I went back to that F bar chord there. Again, I'm playing it with the thumb. You can go like this if you want, or just do the top four. Here we're gonna play two beats of that. Go one, two. Then we're gonna play this little bass line. Love this part. This is the third fret of the fourth string. Then go down to the second fret. Then go to open. And what we're doing is walking from an F down to a D7, which is the next chord here from the fourth string down. Open, two, one, two. So then we stay on that D7 for an entire bar. We go one, two, three, four, then to G. Now I'm playing a folk style G chord here. A lot of times I'll just play the third fret of the low E, mute the fifth string, then open, 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 three. You could play, you know, the four finger G or this three finger here, whichever version is fine. This one's just easier for me. So I'm gonna go to that G, two, three, four. Then we're gonna do this minor progression. We're gonna go.
And this is a great progression. It's over the Don't want to leave her now lyrics there. We're going to start on the A minor and play from 5 down. Open 2 2 1 open. And then we're going to change just one note. We're going to take that second fret of the third string and bring it down to the first fret of the third string. But we'll leave those other two notes of the A minor there. So it's from five down, open to one, one, open. So. Then go to A minor seven, which looks like A minor, but we're gonna take off that third string and make it open. So it's open to open, one, open. And then go to D seven. And there I can keep that index finger there, right? Just kind of pivot over and now I'm at the D seven. So backing up just a little bit, A minor, major seven, minor seven, and then D seven. Now these chords here, when we get to that A minor, are moving every two beats. So it's one, two, change, two, one, two, then to D seven. Then right here we tie it back in with the progression that we played at the top of the song. So we go back to F, ba, 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 E flat, G over D, C. Then everything goes again. Here I'm just down strumming, two, three, four. Simple down strums, keeping time just like a metronome. One, two, walk down to D7, then G. Minor progression. Now the second time we go. And this is a genius songwriting move. What happens here is we actually change keys. And George Harrison would do this all the time. Eric Clapton as well would use these types of progressions in their songs. So here I went to the A chord. That's from the fifth string down, open, two, 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 open. Okay, so instead of going back to C after the intro, bum, 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 normally we would go to C. But now we're gonna go to A, two, three. Then we play the B section, which goes like this. All right, that's the first half of it there. So I've kind of taken some of those orchestral parts and arrange them for guitar. I'm starting on that A, and then I'm moving up to a C sharp minor chord here at the fourth fret. I'm gonna play all six strings though and put this note G sharp in the bass. So you could call it a C sharp minor over G sharp. This is four, four, six, six, five, four. Then go to F sharp minor, two, four, four, two, two, two. Then I play an A, but I put the E in the bass. So backing up. Then we go to D, G, then to A. Okay, D is from the fourth string down, just open, two, three, two, and then G. Now here we go, one and two and three and four and... Okay, what I did there was I played the A chord with one finger, and then we have sort of this orchestral, dun, 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 kind of big walk down that the strings are doing. So. I do that on guitar, I just play a bass line. I play the A chord and then walk down, four, three, two, one, zero, every fret, all the way down. So the rhythm though is one E and a two E and a three E and a four and, so one E and a, two E and a, three E and a four and, one E and a two E and a three E and a four and, bum, 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 bum. 
on repeat. Same thing again. One and two and three. Okay. Now the second time we change, instead of doing the walk down on the A, we actually go to C and do a walk down using the notes of the C major scale. This is like a, a diatonic walk down is what you could call it, which really just means we're walking down the notes of a C major scale and we're diatonic basically means like of the scale. We're using the notes from the scale. Now this is gonna be from the C major scale. So we're gonna go C, B, A, G, F, E. Okay, that's starting on the fifth string. Three, two, open. Then low E string, three, uh, one, open. Okay, and we're gonna follow that same rhythm of what we did, one E and a two E and a three E and a four, and on the walk down on the A, we're just gonna use these notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four, and. All right, so let me back up and put this entire B section together. So we have that first part of the progression, then the first time we go to the A chord and do the walk down on every fret, then we do it again the second time we go to the C chord and walk down the notes of the C major scale. So here's what that sounds like played as one piece. One, two, three, four. Walk down A. Repeat. Go to C this time with the walk down. Then right there, we actually go back to the verse, okay? And the guitar solo happens over the verse. We just have those two sections for the entire song. Now when we end the song, we actually come out of that verse progression and we're playing it just like a typical verse. And we do the A minor. We do this. Bum, 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 bum. Now instead of going to the C, we go to the A chord for one bar, and then we repeat back to the F and end on C. So it's like a trick chord progression there where you think you're going to the B section because we have that A chord, but then it just turns back around and heads home to C. It's a genius ending. So rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear. And then when you're ready, play this along with the recording or you can do your own version, but these chords are gonna sound great as an accompaniment part. And to help you put this together even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide. If you wanna learn songs faster, if you want to be able to play along to your favorite recordings, and you also wanna learn to improvise and start soloing, then grab this guide. It's gonna show you the five must-know chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And I was able to put it all on just one page that you can print out and keep on your desk Desktop or on your music stand as you're putting this all together, just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide to grab that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more Beatles, check out this video next.